Hello and welcome back to another video of this email automation series. We have already seen five videos on how to send emails. And now from this video, we are starting how to read emails from Outlook. In this video, I'm using very basic action, how to read email and look on inbox. And then we will see how to get data like uh, sender, subject, and date in the excel sheet and my upcoming video on how to use filter queries save attachments and then we will see how to get data from mailbox so this is the my upcoming video before go ahead it is request to all of you if you like the container of this video so please hit the like button one like is a big support for our youtube channel and subscribe my channel for more video go ahead and Let's start the video. I created a flow. First action I'm going to use launch Outlook. Take and drag and drop that action here. Click on save. Launch Excel. I want to use the location. This is my Excel that I, I will use. Excel worksheet, action. Okay, take and drag and drop here. Click this option. Start column is one. Start row is one. And columns three. And so here you can see here only three columns is there. So that's why I give the number and uh, column is three. Okay, click on save. And go to Outlook and take this retreative mail message from Outlook. Take and drag and drop here. Here we have to give the Outlook account. This is my account, and I want to use the inbox. Here we are using only email unread emails. So that count of the emails would be very less. Okay. Make as a unread. I want only this subject mails. Click on save. Now I'm using for each loop. Take and drag and drop here. And here, ready mails, retreative mails, and I want to change this current item. Mails, current mails. Okay, click on save. And here I have to use this display message. I want to use uh, take and drag and drop here. Here you can see the current mails. So I want to use as a message box title current mails from. Okay. So here like sender it will swing here i want to you i want current subject current mail subject and again i have to take for date here we are getting email data only sender name subject or dates we are getting only data like uh, sender, subject, or date. So that data we will write in the Excel. Write Excel workbook. Take and drag and drop here. Current item. Current mails. So first I want from take which column I want. Right, first column here, first three row. Click on save. So for row, I am using here get at first three column row action. Take and drag and drop here. Okay, I want I don't want column, I want only row. 
so we will just end this right v uh, right axis drag under this for each loop click on add and now here i want to use first free row okay click on save again i want to use right axis taking drag in here this time i am using for subject line current main click here come down and this is the subject okay so double click on this automatically variable it will come here and i want to write in second column and row first free click on save Again for date, take and drag and drop here. Current item. This time I want to date. So double click on this. Here you can see current meal and dot date. So here I want to. I want in this in the third column. Here I am using current first free uh, first free row again. Okay. Click on save. And another. I have to use close action. Action. This one. Take and drag and drop. Out of this. Uh, for each loop and. Save before close. Click on save. Okay. I have to close this test. Launch our room. Launch action. Here you can see this is the title. So I have given the title as a from. So this one, this is the center. Okay. And subject. Here you can see and date. Click on OK. Let's see in the Excel. Here you can see sender, subject, and date. In this video, we have loop only and read mail. In my upcoming videos, we will see different kinds of filter using filter queries. Hope you like the video. So please hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more video. I will see you in the next video of this email automation series. Till then, happy learning.